On today's uh, video of messing with Starlink, we have a mission, and that is to turn this into a good mobile platform. And that means getting rid of this pole and maybe trying to use some magnets to mount this Starlink dish on the roof of my car. Um, it should go without saying, but everything you're about to see in this video probably will avoid the warranty. If not doing what I'm about to do, driving with this on my car will most certainly avoid the warranty on this dish. So just keep in mind, considering the fact they also just increase the prices by 20% on these new dishes. Um, so we're gonna see if we can um, somewhat easily remove the Starlink dish and um, see where we can go with this. I have ideas, I just don't know if it's realistic yet. I also don't know if I'll have a video by the end of today. Uh, we're gonna be using my iFixit kit here and we're gonna be trying to kind of separate the dish um, because this part clearly can come off and I have seen some other content uh, where it is done somewhat easily. I'm just trying to find kind of a good place to start. There we go. All right, man, that took a lot more work than I thought I was going to. Okay. <laughs> we finally got into the guts of Starlink. What you can see inside the Starlink dish here is you have the motors which control its turn, its pitch, and yaw. Um, these are the two motors here. They're plugged in uh, right on here. And you have these four bolts that go right through the motor into the Starlink dish. If all this is exposed, I don't think it's really the end of the world uh, for my Starlink dish. I think it's meant to be kind of somewhat weather tight. Um, so the goal here is to remove this whole piece and then use the same bolt holes to install magnets to hold it onto the roof of my car. So there are your motor um, power. And then this is just the ethernet, the PoE. That was surprising how much. All right. There's one, whatever. I'm really surprised how tight these are. Here are your four bolts. As far as I can tell, they all look the same. Okay, so those are your motors. What you can see here are uh, the motors for the Starling dish. Um, has kind of a protective covering. And then you can see all the parts in here controlling the up, down, left, right, all that fun stuff. All in there. Very cool. So now we have the problem with this ethernet cable. I cannot punch it all the way through. And then the other issue too is I got this guy at the end of the cable too, and this definitely will not go through. So my options at this juncture are to either try and cut the metal pipe, which seems like a really dumb idea, or try and disconnect the, uh, the, the ethernet cable from the inside of the dish, which is right about here, um, is what I believe, uh, based on some videos I've seen online, uh, teardown videos. So, my thinking is I might get kind of rambunctious here, Give a big shout out to Ken Keiter or Keeter uh, for his teardown video. And I'm trying to essentially align my bolts um, with where it shows where the ethernet connection is uh, because I, I want to just be able to access those ports. Well, there's my hole. <laughs> and for just kind of almost somewhat blindly drilling, I didn't actually do too bad of a job. OK, 
Okay. And so that's what I just connected from the inside. So here are your um, motor cables. And then just to the right of where I drilled is the ethernet. There we go. Okay, so here's your ethernet cable. And so now, all right, so after all that, motor and thing are now done. So here we have our cable. Um, ethernet cable looks pretty generic. There's all your connections here. And then we're gonna just jam this back in there. And then we're gonna try and guide it back to its normal spot. I've used a lot more tools out of this than I thought I would, so um, big shout out to iFixit. Trying to just find the ethernet cable. There it is. Got it in there. We have our main bolt, and then what we're gonna be doing here, we have a uh, spacer and then a galvanized uh, washer and the goal then is to kind of use this and to have this obviously going into the starling dish and then having that kind of spacing to keep the magnet flush into place so ideally we're gonna have the magnet and then with our screw and everything from starling going right into that actually be the other way around but you get the idea I'll pop that right in there you can see that right there we're gonna turn it this way to make it nice and flush, and then we're gonna screw this guy in. So we're, in total, gonna have four, uh, well, I guess I can't really do it there, can I? Because that thing's in the way. Well, we might have to shave that down. All right, I'll throw this bad boy in there. Screw it in. There we go. There's our Starling dish with four magnets on the bottom. You can see it is pretty flush on the bottom to try and limit how much air gets underneath. And again, Starling currently prohibits the use of the dish in motion. However, roaming is turned on. And that's primarily why I'm doing well, what I'm doing. Let me try. So we're gonna test this uh, out here, kind of in the middle of nowhere, nice wide open space. Here's my Starling dish right here. And um, well, here we got our inverter. Here's my Starling router, just kind of chilling here. Let's uh, fire it up, I suppose. Here we go. It says it is connected. It says it is online. Let's see how it handles it. All right. So we have latency, we got download, we got upload. Well, Presumably you won't upload. Look at that. Okay. And again, keep in mind, the Starling dish at this point is flat. So this is not in its ideal operating uh, position either. We appear to be getting service. It's like, well, no, sir, actually. Uh, there are just no motors actually plugged in. going into the springtime the reason I'm really excited about this potential storm chasing how will it react when there's a big thunderstorm in the mix that's gonna be a big question that I hope to answer again if you like this video please subscribe it really does help me out it makes me know that people do care about this startling content like this video as well and we will see you again at the next video